I started rushing. Did you? Or, I did. Okay, good. I wondered if you <laughs> perceived that. Um, and it felt like you got a little train downhill on you. Lost control of it. Uh, that's going to happen with everybody <laughs> at some point or another. Just don't forget, you can put on the brakes. You can't, it, it feels like you can't sometimes, and, and you may be, probably will be, no doubt about it. Behind them, slash them in front of you a little bit. I had a conversation with one of you last week, I can't quite remember, uh, but that the person felt like they gave the prep, and then the tempo wasn't what they wanted, and so they felt like they couldn't get it back. And, and that's, that's your chamber musician self. You know, like you gave that preparatory gesture with your quartet, quintet, you don't want to be way behind them just to try to drag the tempo down. But that's that's the difference between this and that. If if, uh, if you are a bit behind them, they'll number one, they'll adjust real quickly. And if not, that's when you have one of those great folks I'm trying to show you, and I don't think I'm succeeding, so I'm going to try harder. Okay, can you do it again? And next time, you get the tempo down. All right? Um, do you rush when you're nervous with your horn? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe the most nervous I've ever been as a conductor, definitely top three or four, was the Brahma High School Band to a thing called Vance America Concert Band Festival in Indianapolis. And we opened with the Prokofiev March Opus 99. And that's the dumbest idea in the history of the world. Uh, because it's one of those presto Prokofiev, and a piccolo trumpet solo. And, 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 we went, quarter note equals 27 million. <laughs> totally, totally my fault, and which was basically my heartbeat, I think, at that time. We, we worked for you know months and months, we were teaching in Orlando, so we took a big trip to get up to Indianapolis. It's a prestigious thing to get to come up and play. The evaluators were, uh, I mean, they were like Jerry Junkin, who's University of Texas god of band, Keen, and Gary Green, my teacher for my whole life. So it was like, you know, God, God, and super God. <laughs> so, so I was so anxious that it was going to be good. And I'll never forget as long as I live. Maybe like the only comment Gary Green said on the whole recording of these evaluations. Because there's no scores of that, but they give you recordings about your fan. And uh, Green's like my dad. I mean, so it was kind of emotional. He, was there. he didn't really talk much the whole time. I have these long 30 minutes of silence. And I'm just performing. But we got going, and he goes, Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> the trumpet player's eyes are like, oh, oh my God, I'm gonna hang on here. So it, it happens. It happens. For coffee, app, we did uh, we did this Granger, um, this great transcription nobody ever heard of with a tenor singer, uh, a Dowlin, John Dowlin poem with the Granger setting. We did uh, Heroes Lost and Fallen. We did uh, a setting of Amazing Grace, you don't know, not to kill anything. Um, and that Ghost Train, Whitaker Ghost Train. Mm -hmm. It's a big program. Uh, not the greatest music in the whole world, but I was younger. <laughs> so it was fun, we had a good time. And for coffee, it was. Could have been good if it wasn't 27 million clicks a second. You guys know Kirk Gross at Warren Township? He's the director of bands at Warren Township right now. Of all small world, little kinds of things. He was an undergrad at U of I at the time and in the audience. And so then we've reconnected back from that. But I wasn't sure if any of you guys bounced around with him. You less nervous now? Well, let's watch you some time. Yeah. Watch you some time. <laughs> so if you know your tendencies, be nervous and rush. Use that tool. something like this with a tempo like this you want to hear that 
thing in your ear before you give that good breath and prep, and then just keep it quick. Thank you.